Dr. Clyde Martin was the director of WWF in Switzerland from 1980 to 1990, and then director general of the WWF internally from 1993 to 2005. Here he tells Sky News about the role Prince Philip played as president of the conversation conservation charity between 1981 and 1996. I knew Prince Philip since 1981 when I was still director of the WWF in Switzerland. He became pre president of it internally when I, and when I was director general of the whole of the WWF, he was my direct boss until 1996. I traveled a lot with him and went to many countries with him, visits for conservation work, and I came to know him quite well. He had a genuine interest in conservation. It was at least 1956 he became interested in conversation. I think it was the contact with Peter Scott who founded in WWF that had an effect on him and an influence on him and his understanding. Since he was in a Navy, he started getting interested in birds and there must have been something from childhood that was not only a trigger for him, but that made him interested in the world. It is not a surprise that Pierce Scott became known to him. He had an interest in, not just in horses and in question worlds, which he became interested in before WWF. He took an interest in in nature and I think the interest was always with birds but was also with fisheries. I remember having many discussions with him about fisheries. The WWF program on fisheries clearly go back to him. He had a concern about captive brown bred salmon and then mixing it with wild salmon. There was a considered thinking behind what he said about these things. Something that he had an impact on me was his visit on his own to the education center. We were running in Switzerland. We also ran an interfaith evening, and that was historical. It led to the uh, SI. Uh, SI yeah, declarations on nature. That was his idea, reaching out to those who should naturally be involved and get their commitment. That was the century of ASI declaration that went back to him. He fought about getting the idea of conservation to the pe to other people who were not easily accessible to us. He didn't lead on climate change, but n he never de denied it. He definitely bring did bring these views to publics. In the early 1990s, he went to the World Economic Forum and talked about co conservation. And that was when these d business people were not particularly interested in conservation. And he became, there was a president and talked to WEF about need for businesses to take care of natural resources and nature. That was during a time that people even denied that climate change hap was happening it was at very different times. That was not thinking of business people in, that, in the early 1990s. I think he played an important role in putting this on the world agenda with heads of state as well. At times, this was interesting. The, he had 
at times it was frustrating or non-committal. In other cases, it was. Here comes the husband and the, of the Queen of England. I say this is important. You can't put this away. He was first played in a poor role. Dr. Clyde Martin was the director of WWF in Switzerland from 1980 to 1990. And then